3 W here. Um, you might wonder what we're doing outside today, but uh, we're just going to go and see if we can get a kite up in the air and uh, connect an antenna to it. See how we go. There's not a lot of wind around at the moment, so uh, yeah, it looks like there's enough to get the kite up, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully, we've got to uh, end up with a, a nice video for YouTube. I'll just give you a bit of an idea of the some uh, grass to blow through there, but it is uh, coming from the north, which means I've got to go and set everything up down the other end of the park, so that'll take a bit of time, but first of all we'll see if we can get this kite up in the air before we worry about doing everything else. Okay, the kite we're going to use is a, uh, is a Sutton flow form. It's uh, what they call a stickless kite. You get a better look at that when it's, um, when it's out there, full of air. It's got little air pockets in it, and uh, the antenna we're going to put up is a um, about a 40 metre long piece of uh, piece of wire, random wire that's uh, attached to the kite string. All right, here we go. We're going to see what we can do. There we go. I don't know if you can hear me from the distance away, but that's uh, just put out a string that's 100 metres long. And uh, as I said before, it's only got about 40 metres of uh, wire on it. We'll just secure it to this tree here. And uh, yeah, the 40 metre kite wire is on the bottom half of the kite, kite string. And uh, it has an elast elastic piece in the middle, so um, the elastic allows for the kite string to stretch and uh, release without breaking the, uh, the actual wire. Okay, now we've got the um, <coughs> kite string secured to the tree down the other end of the path. Uh, just hold the kite out a little bit there so you can see. It's a bit hard doing all this on your own, like doing the video. Flying the kite's okay on your own, but uh, trying to do the video as well. As you can see, there's not much wind. <laughs> not much wind at all. So what we might have to do is wait for a little bit until I um, a breeze comes along, but I'll give you a bit of a look at this while we're waiting. You can see down here, you can see the pockets. They fill up with air, and there's little exhausts around here and down the back, which the air flows through and uh, blows the kite up like a, like a balloon, I suppose, and uh, gives it lift and keeps it stable. But gee, there's not much uh, wind around now. I think it waited till I put the kite out, or the kite string out, and it's dropped right off. Oh, here comes a little bit. I might mention too that the string I'm using is actually, they refer to it here in VK as builder's twine. It's uh, a plaited type string. It's nylon and it's got a lot of stretch so I use the stretch to uh, my advantage when I'm launching the kite. I tend to um, stretch it out probably about another 20 metres. Uh, don't ask me how much that is in feet. This is a long time since we had feet and inches here but uh, yeah, about 20 metres I can go back so you watch me when I go back and then we'll stretch it then I can launch it in elastic. The elastic of the string will length help launch the kite. Okay, we had a bit more had a bit more success with this time. And we'll just come in a bit closer. Now you can see the holes in the bottom of the kite. They're basically to let air out. And at the leading edge of the kite, there's uh, air pockets in there for the air to flow through, and it shoots out the tail, exhaust out the tails that flows through there. It forms a wing shape on the top. So what I'll do, I'll post a. Um, a picture with the video of a uh, Sutton flow form kite. It forms a wing shape, so you get the curve at the top. It looks like it's coming down now. Curve at the top and a um, and uh, like a large bulbous 
at the front and tail like on a wing and it gives you a lift all right we'll just let that fly for a bit and see if it's going to stay up there then we might set up the rest of the gear oh g'day jack bk3 triple w again okay we're uh we had a bit of trouble yesterday trying to get this kite up in the air but um, this morning conditions seem to be much much better. Still not, not ideal but uh, there's a bit of breeze, you probably see my hair blowing around a little bit there. So I think we should have much better, better go at it today. So okay, here we go, we'll see if we can get it up into the air. Right, as you can see this time, we're right up there. There it is, floating around up there. Unfortunately it's still, the wind's still coming from the north. So all of my gear has to go down the other end of the park, but at least the kite's up in the air this time. Just stand by, we'll uh, go and cart some uh, battery and radio equipment and stuff down the other end of the park. Okay, what I'm doing now is um, hooking up my ground radials. I've got the kite up in the air, it's uh, floating around up there. If we've, got, we've just got four radials out. I know um, I know 13 is good, but uh, the amount of times I fly this thing and uh, how keen I am is judged by the amount of radials I put out. So four radials. I've got a um, a nice earth wire there. And uh, the earth wire will run off and um, just ground that with a uh, with a peg. So just hang on for a minute. Yeah, we'll just um, ground that down there. I can just hope that video is coming out okay. I'm gonna bring a hammer with me. I've got, I've got one in the car, but it's like way down the other end of the field. that back that one there back over to the um, to the tuner and then I'll hook onto that with a, uh, a wire I'll talk about that in a minute okay uh, what we need to do now is to get the actual kite wire connected to the uh, secured on the kite string so basically what we'll do is uh, I've got a piece of coat hanger wire here it's got two right angle bends in each end of it it's about uh, 200 millimeters long about eight inches doesn't need to be that long but uh, now what we're going to try and do is we get about four or five turns the kite string and the wire around this bit of coat hanger and that now will be is fixed it's not going to go anywhere we've got a crocodile clip alligator clip whatever you're going to call it wherever you come from we'll clip that onto the uh, coat hanger wire now we've got an active piece of active piece of wire here so that's our kite antenna up there and flying away. Now we'll just uh, do the station setup. Right. What we're doing here, uh, I've got a, a large crocodile alligator clip here. This has got a one mega ohm resistor in it. Now the whole idea of this is to um, is to take any uh, stray voltage static build up and all that sort of stuff that comes off the wire what I need to do is to uh, disperse it to ground before it gets into the uh, front end of the receiver and uh, we buy by front end that's very important that part and that's uh, I've used a banana plug on this end I've got a little MFJ tuner which I haven't used before on this sort of setup so we'll see how we go and um, I'm just going to the antenna input Plug that in. I've used the uh, banana plugs that are piggyback type ones so I can just plug the antenna wire straight into here. The antenna wire is going to just clip straight to that piece of wire we've got up on the uh, on the kite string. Just comes down and just plugs straight in there, just a random piece of wire. Okay, we'll get that out and we'll, we shall uh, plug that in. <laughs> 